In this video, we're going to look at C++ comments and how they're used in an application. Now, I have a template file set up here, and we're just going to put some comments in. If you're using an integrated development environment, or IDE, a lot of times your colors will change based upon what you're typing. In this example, you're going to see how Visual Studio changes your comments. Now, C++ gives us two different types of comments. First is they allow us to use the comments found in C. Now, C-style comments start with a forward slash and a star, and they end with a star and a forward slash. Everything between these pair is considered a comment and is ignored by the compiler and doesn't run. What's nice is this can work on a single line, like you see here, or we can put this on multiple lines. This can occur anywhere that you want. In fact, you can even put it in the middle of a line of code. That way, a certain section of your code does not run. For example, if you had a conditional statement that had several Boolean logical operators, you could take out one of those and have the other part of the if statement still run normally. It's quite common before a function to have a comment like this to define your function name, the inputs, the outputs, and what the function is supposed to be doing. A lot of times in a case like that, you'll have a star that's put in the front of each line. This way, all of our stars for our comments line up. You might see something like this. With the evidence C++, we also got a single line comment, and that's simply two forward slashes. Anything after this is ignored. Notice it does not have a closing set for this comment. Therefore, if you go to a second line, it is not commented out. And in our case, the IDE, Visual Studio, is showing that it's going to provide some errors for us because certain things are not being used either correctly or are not previously defined. If I want to have multiple lines of comments for my C++, I can do something like, And then on my second line, on my second line, I'll have to put another set of forward slashes, just like I did here. This is also commonly seen. Depending upon the ID that you use and how it's configured, you may see green as a comment color, or you may see a different color.